to go then for Sutton as they pursue Macclesfield at the top of the National League. And today's visitors to Gander Green Lane is Chester, who currently occupy 23rd position in the table. We beat them earlier on this season in a five-goal thriller up at their place. Can we do the same today? If we do manage to win, we'll end up being top of the pile come five o'clock. Paul Doswell makes a change to his 11 that lost last Saturday away at Maidstone. Dean Beckwith comes into the back four. So off we go. And it's Chester who are attacking the Gander Green Lane in the first half. Samuel Allison, the referee today. Sutton are chasing top spot in the National League. Nicely done by Jamie Butler. Our chief producer, James, still wants him to score his first goal for the club. <laughs> to win us the title. Well, one back by Eastman from Crawford in towards the near post where Tommy Wright was lurking. Well, 11 minutes played. It's gone all the way through. Collins is lurking. Right, smart save from Andy Firth, the Chester goalkeeper. Eastman drives it forward. John wins the header. Beautyman. Oh, that's the opening goal. And it's Harry Beautyman via a deflection. His first goal since he rejoined the club. And the early pressure from Sutton has paid off. And it's Sutton 1, Chester 0, Harry Beautyman. Collins, back to Stern. Good low delivery in, took a deflection. Short to Collins, back to Stern. Harrison, it's there. Oh no, he's offside. Stern fires it in. Beckwith wasn't far away. Again, you know, with Ross Stern taking it, it'll be a fantastic delivery. Here it comes, high towards the far post. Right's there. Right wins the header. And it's gone in. It's an own goal. And it's the second goal for Sutton. Just what they needed going into the break. And once again, a fantastic delivery from a corner kick by Ross Stern. Wright headed it back into the mix. And it's gone in off a Chester player. But no one cares. It's Sutton 2, Chester 0. Pushed out the penalty area. Now to Voss. And John clears to the halfway line. And there goes the half-time whistle. And it's Sutton who are comfortably in the lead at the break. By two. So, yeah, Nathaniel Rowe Turner, another name I'm sure I've mentioned somewhere this season alongside Miles Anderson. I'm sure he turned out for Torquay at once, uh, at one time. So, referee Samuel Allison gets us underway for a second time. It's second half and Sutton are attacking their favourite part of the ground the Gander Green Lane and the ironic cheer there's a spoon clearance by the captain Ryan Astles 
goes out of play. So Ross Stern places the ball very carefully in the quadrant. Sutton. Crowded penalty area. Runs right across the six-yard box. Bolorina wasn't far away from connection from another fantastic corner kick. Taken by Ross Stern. Remember when he played for Eastleigh last season against us. A delivery from that side resulted in a goal. Falls to Davies. Wasn't far away. On the half volley, always rising. Dodges into the terracing in the Gander Green Lane. Taken by Aswa Thomas, headed away by Roberts. Out forward by the chest of defence. Bolorinwa gets there before Voss. And Stern has to go back to Eastman. Slices his clearance. And now Astle clears. Beckwith fouled Akatunde. You can see. Roberts with a free kick. Flicked on and it's gone in. And that's what Sutton didn't want. But Chester have got a goal back out of absolutely nothing. It was a free kick given away when they didn't really need to give the free kick away. Put into the penalty area. And Chester are back in this game. Sutton 2, Chester 1. Sutton win a throw in. I'm not sure where James has disappeared. It's the longest tee in chalk. Oh, here he comes. I can see him. Just coming through the entrance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shot comes in! Oh, that was a cracking goal from Roster. Some strike. Really was an absolutely beautiful strike. And worthy of all three points. It's Sutton 3, Chester 1. And that's the goal of the day. Chester with possession. Captain Astle's on the halfway line. And lifts it towards this near left hand side to Roe Turner. White goes in field. Could football this by Chester. And the referee points to the spot. See that coming. Yeah, it was a shoulder. So, White against Butler, and it's 3-2. There'll still be um, a couple of minutes to play. It's delaying proceedings, the referee will add it on. Sutton leading Chester by three goals to two, Butler with the free kick. Sends it out of play, deep in Chester's right full-back area, level with the um, edge of their own penalty box. They'll have to take this throw in. Sutton needs to keep them penned into their own half, but they clear the ball up towards the halfway line. Harrison wins it back. Yeah, didn't get the uh, break of the ball. And there goes the full-time whistle, which sends Sutton to the top of the National League. A nerve-jangling final five minutes, but they win by three goals to two. Harry Butiman put Sutton into the lead, then it was an own goal, made it 2-0 just before half-time. Chester pull one back. And then Ross Stone with a cracking third. And then Chester from the penalty spot through Harry White. And a very, very nervous final five minutes. But Sutton beating Chester by three goals to two. Lead the National League with seven games to go. And it's over to Macclesfield on Tuesday night. Full time, Sutton United three, Chester two.
Oh, three points, top of the table. Slightly strange game. Yeah, it was really. Uh, I thought we were very comfortable at half time at 2 0. Credit to Chester, they kept going. Um, obviously, got their goal back. We then scored an absolute screamer from Sturney at 3 1, and you think that's, that's game over. Uh, soft penalty uh, from the referee with 10 minutes to go gave them something to keep, you know, keep sort of fighting for. So, I thought it was a comfortable win. Um, we should have finished the game off a lot, a lot earlier. Uh, but again, credit to Chester, they kept going. Seven, point, seven games to go and top of the table. Yeah, still game at a time. I mean, Boreham Wood lost today. They've gone from third down to fifth. So it's going to be still be snakes and ladders. Uh, but all this team can do is, is is keep doing what they're doing every game, which is in the main winning. So uh, we'll wait and see. Well, Marcus, on the receipt, on the wrong end of the result in the end, but uh, are you pleased with the spirit shown late on? Yeah, no, I'm sure um, you guys would agree. There was certainly was in the game, um, and obviously we're disappointed not to come away with a point in the end in terms of our second half performance. Mm. No, first half was mainly all Sutton, but came back came back strongly in the second half and right, yeah, right no. at the end looked as though you might nick a point. Yeah, no, we were disappointed with our first half. I think we got the process wrong. We tried to we tried to play before we earned the right to play, uh, and Sutton were full credit for their lead, and obviously conceding the way we did just on the stroke of half time could have really deflated us but we came out second half and I think you all could see the response we had and so we got ourselves back in the game and then to suffer a cruel deflected goal you know I was right behind it you know super finished by the lad but it took a deflection could have deflated us again but we bounced back got ourselves back in the game and like I said late on we could have certainly got um, a third goal.